Hello, my name is Mike Marshall, and I'm here to talk to you about the mystery of mandolin chords. The first chord many of us learn is a simple little G chord, right there in first position. And uh, that's a great chord, and it kind of represents in many ways the, the building block of everything I'm going to be talking about today. Uh, any of you who play piano may have learned that what makes up a chord is the first, third, and fifth of a scale. Well, if we were to take a C scale and look at those notes, the first, third, and fifth note, that would be C, E, and G, well, voila, we can't really play those three notes on a mandolin. So the first thing that comes to mind is how do you play the first, third, and fifth on a mandolin? Well, what we do is we take this E note and we move it up an octave. And then we actually end up playing C, G, E. And that's, the, that's basically the same chord that I showed you at the beginning, the G chord. One, five, three, with the three being up an octave. I'm going to play this little numbers game with you today, so I'll ask you to be patient and... Uh, and if you don't understand all of it right away, that's okay. But uh, a little bit of music theory can be very, very helpful uh, in understanding some of these concepts because I'm going to be throwing a lot of numbers at you rather quickly. So just hang tough, grasp what you can, fill in the blanks later as best you can. All right, so let's look at this G chord. I call it root position because the root is in the bottom. As long as you know what note the notes on the G string you can play this chord really easily you got the G chord if you bar that up you're gonna put your first finger on the low two strings and play the A and the E and then the C sharp and the A and that becomes an A chord wherever this low note is that's what that chord is so you go up two more frets and it's a B chord go up one fret and it's a C chord that's because between B and C, there's only one fret. Go up two more frets, and it's a D chord. Two more frets, and it's an E. One fret, and it's an F, because between E and F is only a half step. And then two more frets, and you're on a G again, which is an octave above where we started. So let's practice that again, slowly. G chord. Up two frets is an A, up two frets is a B, one fret is a C, the fifth fret, up to the seventh is a D, nine is an E, ten is an F, and twelve is a G. So just looking at the notes on that G string, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If you were to do that chromatically, it would be G, G sharp is the first fret, A is the second, A sharp or B flat is the third, B is the fourth, 
C is the fifth. C sharp or D flat is the sixth. D is the seventh. D sharp or E flat is the eighth. E is the ninth. F is the tenth. F sharp or G flat is the eleventh. And 12 again is G.